Hey everybody! Alrighty, so I really had been seeing these Liquitex muted um, acrylic ink colors all over the internet and they really intrigued me. The colors are unique and I really love them. So I was ordering some other things from Dick Blick and wanted to, you know, pad my order enough to get free shipping. We've all been there and done that, right? Um, so instead of spending money on shipping, I'd rather get a few more art supplies. I don't know about you. Not that I really need them, but um, so I got the muted um, Liquitex acrylic inks. Um, they are acrylic, so once they're dry, they shouldn't move around. Um, and I'm just looking to see... Um, They are light fast. This one says very good, um, excellent, let's see, very good, very good, I don't have my reading glasses on, and very good. So one is excellent, which is the muted violet. The rest of them are very good. They should be... Um, They should be permanent when dry. We're going to test that today, though. And um, we're going to just do some little sample swatches, maybe a little painting with them. So let's get started. Uh, I am going to move these off camera. And I have a small palette here, so let's put the colors into the palette. This is Muted Green. These literally are brand new. I've only opened and used one of them. I don't want to waste any, so I'm just going to put like three drops. I just want enough to play with. This is the muted gray. This is the only one that I've actually opened and done anything with so far. I literally just got these um, yesterday, um, but I also updated my computer equipment and got a brand new system that I'm going to have to get used to um, and learn. So I've been actually focusing more on that. This is muted pink. This is muted violet. And of course there's a muted turquoise, because you know. <laughs> that was the one, of course, that intrigued me the most. Although the gray is interesting. Because it's like a purpley gray, bluey color. Okay, this is the turquoise. So first, we're going to see how they work, how, just what, what they look like. We're going to just, I have this little ATC sized piece of watercolor paper here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you all can see it. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's, let's zoom out just a little bit. There we go. All right. So the first thing I want to do is get my brush wet. I'm going to grab my rag. And let's just do some color swatches. I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to turn this this way a little bit. This is the turquoise. Isn't that a pretty color? Okay, and then um, the violet. Let's see what they look like when they blend too. Pretty, pretty. All right, and the pink, which is a very, like, dusty, rosy color. And then this is the gray, which has this, like, dark violet undertone to it, which I find really interesting. And then this is the green. is really pretty also. And I'm going to bring it over here and mix it with the turquoise. I'm going to try not to mix it with the reds because you'll just get brown. So aren't those pretty colors? Really, really gorgeous. So let's dry it with the heat then and see what happens.
Okay, so I want to make sure it's really, really dry. And it is. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe, which is, of course, damp. And they come off a little bit, but not too much. So I like that. Yeah, a little bit, but not too much. They don't, like if that was watercolor, it would reactivate and smear all over the place. Well, depending on the watercolor. But I can see using these inks in conjunction with some watercolor, because aren't they pretty? Let's do a quick little picture. I have a watercolor greeting card here. These are pre-cut folded greeting cards um, with envelopes. You can buy them in packs. A, lot, a few different paper companies make them, including Strathmore. Um, and this actually was one that was gifted to me in Happy Mail. Let me just grab a piece of deli paper. There we go. So that we're working on um, the ones the front and we're not like getting ink all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to save this. I'm going to do something with that because it's really cool. And I could be wrong about them being acrylic inks because they do lift a little bit. I thought they were acrylic, but it doesn't matter. I still love the colors. It might just be ink ink. It says the product you, you're holding has been tested to extremes in our lab to ensure perfect color matching and seamless intermixability across all formats. We get technical so you can get creative. That's what it actually says on the back of the box. That's the part that I can read because I can't read the rest. It says extra fluid, um, transparent, and light fast. Like I said, all of them are very good. It just says Liquitex Professional Ink. So they're very cool, though. All right, let's let's do like a quick picture. Um, I'm gonna look at the sample swatches, and I'm gonna pink pick. Um, I'm gonna pick the rose first. I'm gonna treat it like it were watercolor. And start with the lightest. I really kind of want it to... It's really soaking right into this paper. Holy cow. Like, it is just... So let's get the paper a bit wet because I want it to be more blendy than that. in with the purple. Yeah, boy, you want to work quick. It, it's soaking right into this, this paper. It didn't um, do that as quickly on the other paper. It's probably the paper this card is made out of. But the, honestly, that's one of the things I like about watercolor is that you kind of never know, um, you know, exactly what you're going to get and you have to sort of work around it. <laughs> I kind of like that. I find that interesting. It's a challenge. I think that's why I find it interesting. my computer beeping because I forgot to turn everything off. I didn't plan this before we got started and it may turn out looking like poop but um, we're just going to play and have fun.
Somebody's going crazy. I'm loving the way this um, ink moves on the paper. I'm loving the colors. Working with them is really fun. If you're going to work um, with them from a palette like this, I wouldn't put too much of them out at once because they do dry pretty quickly and you don't want to waste it. dry that. Oh, see, good thing we put the paper there. a colored pencil or two and a white gel pen and also a black pen. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the colored pencils. Okay, this is still too wet. Let's I need to dry that some more. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. So, uh, you know, we're doing sort in case you didn't figure it out already. We're doing sort of a floral shape, but I wanted to keep it I want to keep it loose and suggestive. But, you know, we're mixed media artists, so that does mean that, you know, we can not just use the ink or paint or watercolor that we can mix it up and add other things to our paintings and that's something I kind of harp on a lot you know we're mixed media artists that means you should know the rules but that also means you can break the rules so you should do that and have fun and play while you're doing it Oh, the white gel pen works actually nice on this. I was kind of concerned, to be honest. Sometimes you get these kind of, you know, painty, inky things, and gel pens don't always want to write on top of them. And I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm mixing up a few things. These pencils are Koi Noor Magic Pencils. <clears throat> the gel pen is a Hybrid Gel Grip by, uh, it says Hybrid Gel Grip DX. It's from Jet Pens. And then this is a Sharpie, um, a Sharpie pen. This is a stainless steel refillable pen. So there we go. Isn't that a cute little quick card? And of course you could put a sentiment on here or you could just leave it blank like that. I think it's cute, just blank. 
So there you go. Give these Liquitex inks a try. They're a lot of fun. If it's in your budget or if you're ordering something anyway and you need to add a little bit more to the to the shopping cart to get the free shipping. Think about ordering one of these. They're really fun. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And know before anybody asks this video wasn't sponsored, I did buy these. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.